Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is uh, penotology and this video is focused on the signs and the symptoms and the diagnosis of the penotology. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, the most uh, important step uh, in the diagnosis of uh, penotology is um, and the case history, the detailed history of this condition, you know. And a good history may uh, essentially make the diagnosis of the penotology and uh, the important factors uh, for a suggestive history of the penotology include like uh, the timing of the symptoms, uh, type of allergy symptoms and uh, uh, consistency. You know, the majority of the reactions occur within 20 minutes with uh, nearly all reactions occurring within two hours of the exposure to the uh, peanuts you know so there was a timing and the second thing is uh, the types of the uh, allergy symptoms so about 80 to 90 percent uh, of the reactions involve the skin uh, manifestations such as uh, rash including hives, you know, or redness and itching. And uh, the reactions can occur in uh, the absence of rash and uh, these reactions may be the most severe. And other common signs and symptoms include like uh, uh, respiratory symptoms like uh, difficulty in breathing or coughing, wheezing, you know. And gastrointestinal symptoms include like uh, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. And the cardiovascular uh, systems like uh, uh, increased heart rate, you know, and uh, decreased blood pressure. So these are the two cardiovascular uh, symptoms, you know. And uh, the neurological symptoms include like uh, lightheadedness and fainting or passing out, you know. And, uh, uh, and maybe behavioral changes as well, you know. The third thing is consistency of the symptoms. Now the reactions should consistently occur with every peanut exposure. So, in the process of diagnosis, which is followed by the, followed the history, the skin prick test, which is also known as SPT, is generally the test of choice in making the diagnosis of the peanut allergy. And it's important, in fact it is very important, um, uh, to be aware that the positive SPT or uh, uh, skin prick test uh, alone does not make the diagnosis of the peanut allergy. Uh, mainly, the individuals with the positive uh, skin prick test to the peanut will be uh, will not be the peanut allergic, you know. And uh, there will be many cases like this, you know. And the usefulness of the peanut uh, skin prick test increases, the size of the reaction increases, you know. And sometimes uh, these test results are inclusive and uh, many will uh, be followed up with the blood test as uh, the peanut specific uh, IgE levels, you know. So, <clears throat> despite a thorough clinical history, SPG test and peanut specific IgE levels, the diagnosis of the peanut allergy may still remain in question, you know. And uh, in these instances, the physician uh, uh, supervised oral challenge may be indicated. And uh, uh, like uh, the patients are given gradually increasing amounts of the peanuts, usually in the allergy surface, you know, and closely monitored uh, for the allergic symptoms. And uh, this has not been shown to significantly improve the quality of life regardless of whether the challenge is passed or failed, you know. But they have also been shown to be very, to be very safe when performed in an appropriate setting under the supervision of the physician which is experienced in the management of the food allergies, you know. And during the diagnostic process of the peanut allergy, it is also important to determine if the peanut allergic individuals are allergic to 
uh, like uh, tree knots. So since up to one third of the peanuts uh, with the peanut allergy will also react to the uh, tree knots, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Goodbye. The next video will be about treatment options.